It could be true love. Maybe the love of your life is your sister man. That's the truth. It could be true love. I ain't gonna argue, but and I ain't gonna judge. But all I'm saying, I feel as though the small sister owed her big sister. You know, she was supposed to be loyal to her big sister. Like you don't go and you don't go and do this. Yes, regardless of me, me ex-wife send you something pertaining to me. There's anything for do okay in public, jackass, Melly Mel. Eh? There's anything for do the public, clown. Eh? There's not the public business, Melly Mel. I don't know what's going to happen, so I try I try not to judge. We don't judge. I try not to judge people, and, and I'm not, don't get me anyway, I'm not judging. I'm not judging this young lady. I'm not judging small man. I'm not judging this young lady. It could be, it could actually be true love. Maybe the love of your life is a sister man. I don't know. Ayo, look at my pint finger. The finger got a pint at me ex-wife. Nobody else but she can she used to be fucking blame. You can watch. Check this out. Me or she not. And guess what? Right? If you know you're married to this man legally, you and this man in there. You are done the part, you move on with your life, you step out your marriage. You gonna get another man. You're pregnant for another man. Now your sister they in me country. In me grounds, in me play field, in the city boys play field. And you look for me of our person to call. And time I make a threat and shoot who and shoot what? Yo, you know Guyana does go, girl. You mother squad know Guyana is go. Why you feel you coming home? Why you feel you coming home? Alright, let me read some of the comments. Small man ain't got no points because he ran to the ex-wife and then wanted to cry on the call. And come home. You are getting bark and all that. Yeah, you come home. What problem are you got? You bring the mother's control home. Let me saw them out. You are sparse me, Melly Melly. Well, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. You got a chance to. I would have shared Small Man live on my page. I don't know how much you got a chance to watch it and to listen and hear what he was saying. You put the Small Man picture up. So for those of you who missed it, let me get a picture. Small Man. For those of you who missed it, um, Somebody would have written to me about this situation, about this man being with two sisters, the sister asking him to pick up one of his small sisters to take him over to her apartment, and the whole thing. Somebody says small man on February. February just started, you know. But I guess I guess we can see. So then we had the whole back and us. Small man went live, small man gave his side of the story. Um I just want to like I'll keep you guys updated on this story um, I'm sure most of you would have followed it by now so I'm sure if you didn't if you missed our live on TikTok I was live over on TikTok you would have heard you would have gotten a chance to listen to the voice notes and all these things and stuff that you know him complaining to his ex-wife for her sister who is not, who he's now in a relationship with and who he claims is pregnant so I guess listen this story was just too much for me. I guess we, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it's a sad story. Um, people keep going back and forth. I see you guys were arguing under my post as to who was wrong, if the brother-in-law was wrong, if the sister was wrong. But here's my thing. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think small. I don't think small man. Or the big sister any loyalty because that's his ex-wife right me personally i f i feel as though um the sister would have would have would have been the one that owed that loyalty to her sister because they're family i don't know what kind of relationship they got i don't know if maybe they don't have a close relationship i don't know what's the relationship like but me personally and i'm saying you know i say this all the time like you know we don't know what situation we will find us you know we as human we find us we find ourselves in situations and we don't know what's going to happen so i try i try not to judge we don't i try not to judge people and, and i'm not don't get me anyway i'm not judging 
I'm not judging this young lady. I'm not judging small man. I'm not judging this long lady. It could be, it could actually be true love. Maybe the love of your life is your sister man. I don't know. It could be true love. Maybe the love of your life is your sister man. That's the truth. It could be true love. I ain't gonna argue, but, and I ain't gonna judge. But all I'm saying, I feel as though the small sister owed her big sister you know she was supposed to be loyal to her big sister like you don't go and you don't go and do this you do, like i don't know like i don't like i don't know um i guess we'll be, I, i'll be following this story and i'll be keeping you guys you know update as to what happened and you know all right let me read some of the comments small man ain't got no points because he ran to the ex-wife and then wanted to cry on the call that was true because i was watching because i was watching his live and what he was saying on the life, he was all macho. Small man was all macho on the life. Oh, he don't care. This is what happened. How are you gonna send you sister for this, for this, and this? But then, when you listen to the, to, when you listen to the conversation between he and the big sister, it was as though he was, what he was very um, remorseful, and he was trying to get the, 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 um, the big sister to understand. It wasn't that don't care attitude that he was giving us on the life. So it was. It was two different energy so that had me a bit confused it was two different energies and then he was making it seem as though he don't care whether the small sister come or go or come back or whatever but then when you were complaining to the sister you were saying that how much you were talking about how much you care about this young lady and you want her to come back you even make reference as the chicken tip on sale and if the family turn the back on she you and turn your back you can take care of your responsibility y'all like one another feelings involved and all these things so it was two it was it was two different energy when he was doing the live and when he was hyping and going on yes mama we understand that you take february yes your last two sister he's not the first he's not the last this thing does happen every day right i could but at the same time you know so there you have it melly mel doing what melly mel does do put all the information for the 592 comments and the 592 comments just do what the 592 comments just do view with the information online so after melly mel put all the information to the 592 comments which was actually a follow-up to what small man had put out because when the whole information hit the internet small man put out an original video where he was presenting it you know from a a machismo a more macho perspective where you know yeah and last two sister they sent she for me and them type of thing the video coming up right here but then after the he put out another video after the 592 comments would have gotten more information because somebody either the older sister or the younger sister called melly mel and gave her a whole different side of the information gives her voice notes and all kind of thing that she played and then everybody then after the now start to have a whole different perspective on the whole thing and then he now come back with a whole different video where it seems like look i can let he tell you for yourself right now just remember though they send the sister for me me send for she we say we own kind of hustling looking for money Focus in your life. You don't have on scunt. I never send for people. People send people for for this man. He send for people, dread. You understand? You see? Right? And if I yo looking for point finger, the finger got point at me ex-wife. Nobody else but she. Cause she used to be fucking blame. You can watch. Check this out. Me or she not. and guess what right if you know you're married to this man legally you this man in there you are done the part you move on with your life you step out your marriage you're gonna get another man you're pregnant for another man 
Now your sister, they me country. In me grounds, in me play field, in the city boys play field. And you look for me, of our person to call. What make your family them? Yeah, you call a man like me for accommodate you sister for two, three days and expecting things wouldn't turn fucking left and get sour. I is not nah, demon. I is not nah, fuck. Oh, Tisha. Where else you looking for expect? Me, she crying? Eh? Like, like me really understand, it's like the match don't really match to me sometimes with the scorn people that want to bring to your dread. You know them way? You say, me send for nobody, she beg me like a dog. For she says to stay by me, dread. Now that your sister get well and fucking comfortable, and now you hear things gone so well, you're vexing. You blame blame yourself if you send your sister for fucking a fix. Apparently, you miss, you, you miss the cock. So you must send your sister for fucking feel them. And, and come back and tell you what I know, but maybe it's still intact. <clears throat> people looking for views and people looking for likes. Eh? When some are you talking about people looking for views and people looking for life, I got to look at your fucking self in the mirror. It is what some of you got to do. Look at your fucking self in the mirror and you're talking about people looking for views and people looking for likes. You the Melly Mel. Yeah? Right? Yeah. Bless the day, viewers. Bless the day. People looking for views and people looking for likes. Eh? I never send for you, Melly Mel. I never send for you, Melly Mel. Right? And if you feel aware about the life that I do, you could feel free to come to Guyana with our evidence and let's take it up the judge tongue magistrate court. Yes, Melly Mel. Right? Please. Do the... Uh, uh, you feel so threatened by me. Right? Get your evidence. And bring it together, you know, and let's go up the magistrate court. Small man made it, making threats against Melly Mel. Right? You see, Ayo? Ayo is talking about y'all as a people. Let me, let me expose some of y'all mother's scunt. Right? Ayo is talking y'all as a people. And Ayo want to see justice served in this country. Now, nah, these things where your mother's scunt is talking about as influencers, as so called influencers. Eh? And I all up in people fucking business. Let me ask you something, Melly Mel. Right? Me, you have a problem? Or you have something personal against me? Or you trying to publish something on your social platform and try for degrade me or try for fucking belittle me? Or try for cyber bully me? Eh? What my personal life or business, regardless of me, me ex-wife, send you something pertaining to me? That got anything for do with the fucking public jackass, Melly Mel? Eh? That got anything for do with the public clown? Eh? There's not the public business, Melly Mel. That is not the public business and you doing me something like that. You violating my rights, girl. You disrespecting me. Me, you have nothing fucking personally in common. I never do you more to scorn none, Melly Mel. I never did you anything. So I see that as a blatant fucking attack to the small people community, girl. You disrespecting me, we're already talking about. And then when I talk, attack me mind. Watch, anything I tell you, I can, I, can, I can go to the court and plead guilty for it. I don't give a fuck. You ever tell you, Melly Jackass, Mel? So I never send for you, you know. I never send for you, you know. The viewers and the subscribers, them don't know. I never send for fucking you, Melly Mel. People come to fucking you with me problems. And you take it upon yourself to publish it on your social platform. And then you talking about people looking for views and people looking for likes. Are you looking for views and for fucking likes on the media? Not me. Not me. If I'm making threats against you, take it to the fucking... Cybercrime unit, mother scum, come home. You a fucking bark and all that. Yeah, you come home. What problem are you got? You bring the mother scum to all home. Let me saw them out. You ain't pass me, Melly Melly. This one we fucking you. You ain't pass me, your mother scum to all. And time I make a threat and shoot who and shoot what. Yo, you know Guyana does go, girl. You mother scum know Guyana is go. Why you feel you coming home? 
Why you feel you coming home? You know God what guy in any fucking guy, you know. So I talk about people shooting who and who up. They put a fucking phone or they behind a computer and talk them thing and no way it's come your fucking way. You know what's wrong with some here in this tongue here? You know what's wrong with some here in this tongue here? It's because some people are putting a yard under this and the real fucking pressure. Make I just say I doing people think on this fucking internet and I and I get enough and scared and eating and laughing like it's a fucking joke. You take it upon yourself to publish my business out there. And when I hit back at your mother's scum, you're talking and making threats against you. Come! Going to CID headquarters. Come, your mother's scum, to all home, Melly Mel. Come home today, you know. I know it's cold right now. You don't even wash your post for the morning. Your mother's scum. You talking about fucking people, people making threats against you. I have disrespectful fucking whores, girl. From you publishing anything about me, you disrespect for your mother's control. You got people, you got people selling you ass and the dreams, and you picking it up into your own hands and publishing things about people. Eh? I you mustn't get into people's fucking affairs. Come on, are you whoring out all over this fucking world? People don't know. And even if people know, people ain't got time. God, they're not people fucking business. Jackass. You the Melly Mel. I watch. Let me make it clear upon this live. Eh? Ah, your friends them way, guy, eh? Who is opposition and all of them fucking tell me why nobody call me phone? I don't affiliate with the fucking up new coalition government. I not an MP. I mean looking for views, mother scunt. Cause all your friends them way got ain't telling your girl where do you small man is fucking wrong. You publish a small man, eh? What small man do you, girl? What small man do you? Eh? You are spars fucking me, Melly Mel. You are spars me, girl. I swear you are spars me. You're disrespectful. You're a disrespectful fucking whore. I call you out. Come home. Come to the cybercrime unit and take your evidence. And let me get it started out. Your mother's scum. You feel you gonna do that? You feel you gonna fucking do that? Eh? You might even walk out the plane properly, your mother's scum. Me sent for you. You know how years you mother scum black me? Eh? You know how years you black me? You don't want people like me see your fucking platform. You can't remember. I blaze I have for the scum to ice guy in our way, you know. Can you use nothing for nobody? You can't help people problems when they bring it to fucking you, Melly Mel. You can't help nobody problems. You just go make things worse and give people exposure upon the fucking internet. What more could you do? What could you have done when my wife come to you and tell you your fucking problems? What you gonna do? Eh? You gonna reverse time as the man and go make it unfuck your sister. Yes, Melly Mel got a time machine that she store at the hands of times and change fucking Change everything that was already fucking happened. You see, Ayo? You see, Ayo? Eh, you see, fucking Ayo? Ayo, there's number, you know. Remember, don't throw fucking stone into the fucking glass when the tear, you know. Can't be broke up fucking glass in this tongue. Eh? Remember, though, me looking for views and subscribers. There's not me. I just cross by. I just fucking cross Melly Mel. I don't care who vex with me, Dread. Cause people ain't see me side. People ain't see the blatant disrespect fucking Melly Mel to me. Uh, 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 and then a, a ton of laughing thing is a joke thing. Remember, I just scraping. I step on scraping. And then you look if I get scrap, you not gonna get fucking scrape too. Your mother's scunt. People looking for views. People are looking for views. Eh? Eh? Tell the public why you are let's start and why you coming at your mother's scum. Tell them why you coming at you. Me send for you, you know. Remember you don't diss me. You diss me by publishing fucking me on the media. That jackass will bring a scum to you and you taking it upon your own. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're a journalist. Right? Right? You're a relationship fucking judge. Right? You, you, you blasting me on the internet. Yeah. Right? But when I attack him back, your mother's cunt, your vexing, I hear some corrupted fucking whores, you know. And I hope you all again, you know. See how some of your fucking whores stay, you know. Yeah, I tell you. I hope you all again, you know, see how your mother's cunt all stay, you know. Because me business ain't got nothing to do with the public. Are you publishing me fucking business out there? Eh? You publishing me business out there, and you talk, hey, Melly Mel. Melly fucking Mel. Come home. With your evidence and carry to the cybercrime fucking unit. Carry to CID headquarters, man. Let them come and make them arrest and arrest you, mother scunt, all too. Don't tell me I'm making threats against you. I just cross. And it's only time for the fucking viewers and subscribers them see how I just stay. You're fake as fuck. Are you fake as fuck? Are you real? I you real to nobody, not even your own fucking self. So don't talk. Don't talk, Melly Jackass, fucking Mel. Because remember, you don't send for you. Remember, you don't die in your business. I just hoary, you know, all the fucking foreign. I, I, and I always die in your business in Guyana. Eh? I always have your business in Guyana, and I always talking. Eh? I always open your business in Guyana. And I you living out of fucking Guyana. You don't need time for the public to see the true colors of some of y'all. You tell you, me want none of your friends them call me. None of them. Me even want to call them name. But they know themselves. I don't call my phone. Don't call me. I don't associate with the Apnu Coalition. I just get myself mixed up, mother scunt, and I get jackass problems. Don't send for me, I don't call me. Call you a fucking fake. You say me? And enough of y'all. Let me tell the viewers them something. Let me tell something. You have stop carrying your problem to these fucking influencers out there, you know. Because I just only making yourself look like some mother scunt, you know. Stop carrying your problem to Melly Mel and these fucking low life fucking crass. Real talk. Let me not people I carry business, though. It's best, I get, it's best I get go live and tell you all the fucking game. Any your problem never going to them. Because they make no difference. It don't make no difference carry a problem nowhere else. Or go by CN fucking Sharma. Junior. I am more scunt. I telling you. I telling you. I want the viewers them see. These people is crazy. These people only bring problem and destruction in your fucking life, Jen. People can't add no value to your life. And as far as I'm concerned, them is not even nobody to keep no fucking friends with. Real Verb. Well crafted sea moss gummies. Nutritious, delicious superfoods. What's your favorite flavor?